Hi, my wonderful, amazing, beautiful Cancerian. I am going to do a reading for you today. It has been a couple of days, several days, um, but I'm here to do a reading to see what your energy will be like in the next couple of weeks, what to expect from your surroundings, um, from yourself, what level you're at emotionally right now. So I'm going to shuffle and ask for some guidance and come right back when the cards are ready on the table to be speaking of Cancerian females. Let's go. Cancer, welcome back. These are the cards that I, sorry, I'm the cards that I have lined out here. Um, in, in regards to what Cancer's energy will be like in the next coming couple of weeks. So for me, just looking at the spread, it starts out of very, what you'd have said, bright and beautiful, like on top of the world, being present, active in your life, reaping, achieving, you know, just clarifying, focusing, making breakthroughs, um enlightenment and then further down i am seeing a bit of energy that comes in that seems to play around the idea of being a little bit like focused in one too many directions that might call for a breakthrough somehow in new beginnings once more or, or a situation where you're focusing on really stabilizing yourself with a with with a financial stable um, company or partner you know um, so you might be focusing more on and that so you can create uh, a lot more joy around you um, in regard to something coming into you um, so maybe going in a little bit to prepare yourself to deal with what is coming toward you and how to best handle it um know um you know your boundaries what you need to set in place because even though everything is beautiful sometimes you know we have to get serious we have to make decisions so we have to really focus on the decision that we think will bring the best outcome for us to make us feel beautiful bright and full of love in our element all the time so beneath all this glow up that's coming yes there's still going to be a weight of some kind of a decision that has to be made so i'm going to go further and see what i can get and then come back with that final breakdown of the cards so far all right so i want to say that you are very happy and indeed like at this so firmly groundedly happy joyous within yourself you have manifested such a great amount of happiness and a lot of wealth coming into you as well like beautiful you're vibrating really really high just so glorious you're expecting a lot of great things maybe because you have put in the work already maybe you're so vibrant and happy and wealthy right now because you have made that decision already that has led you to this place of feeling you know so much more freer and in your element and manifesting and creating and being powerful in your position you have made that decision you've standed on your ground and this is the basis now of your happiness or you're happy now because you know you have options you know you have two decisions to make um you have a decision to make you have two options right so maybe you're happy about having options maybe you're happy about um you know just actually having the option to choose between something but you are vibrantly your vibration your frequency in the next two week is like high is and i mean you just be vibrating at another level in your highest power it seems here like ridiculously a lot of wealth joy and about everything that you could ever imagine is coming through to you so that offer that you wanted for a job maybe uh, um online or whatever what product you're designing it's coming through beautifully well um and it all started in within your heart space 
where you started to set your boundaries and really work on loving yourself, cherishing you who you are. And so you begin to express that out of you in your true power as you are. Um, and so that is maybe where this groundedness is coming from. It builds something up in you. Just having a foundation um, to have boundaries, to focus even to, as I see the jack here, to focus more on yourself and realize that the cards have been in your hands all, in your hand all along. How do you play it? Do you play it and focus on things in the past energy that was keeping you maybe blocked or, you know, what built you up really? So I see, well, I see actually that you're not focusing on anything in the past that kept you blocked. That is for sure, right? I see that you're definitely focusing toward manifesting stability, wealth, um, partnering up, just doing a lot of creative things and coming to a place where you're focusing so much on who you are, you're realizing that the card's in your hand. Like you are the master jester here, but well, not really the jester, I mean like, the magician the the gifter of yourself in a sense like you are the master of self you control your emotions your energy you control you can intentionally control what you wish to come into you and it starts just keep grounded in your place of love in your boundaryness knowing who you are what you've built yourself up to be what you expect of yourself express that out and um, be disciplined and i see that you do have discipline in this reading here so we're expecting a lot of greatness coming up from you and there's a lot of new beginnings as well and a lot of guidance from spirit so it's a good week to look forward to so thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you again soon much much love to you as always